We build cool things. It really makes the biggest difference. It pays off to have fun. These students are pretty awesome. Yeah, right on. What's up, Black Friday Nation? So you guys will never guess where I'm at this morning. I am back at school. Let me show you what's in my backpack. I've got welding gloves, welding hood, and welding jacket, or some water. Can you guys guess what I'm doing today? Any guesses? Caleb, you wanna tell them? We're back to school. We're here at Provo High. We're gonna hang out, do some fun stuff, show off what we're building. I am the welding teacher here at Provo High. I've been here for nine years and we build cool things. Caleb reached out to me and wanted me to come in as an inspiration to these kids because I feel like I'm pretty blessed with my career yeah. and I love what I do and I just, I wanna share that with these kids. Yeah, it's always good to show them where their skills could take them, so. Mm -hmm. This is one of my seniors. Oh my goodness. Little VW bus. And what? he actually fits in here. Yesterday when he was fabricating, this is his gas tank. We're making it so that it looks like a spare tire. He's gonna have his gas tank mounted right here. That's awesome. All right guys, so it is a little loud in the shop, so I don't know how much talking I'm gonna be doing, but I will try to film and show you guys what the kids are doing. It is super early. First class is at 7.30, so I'm calling this the wake and weld class. But this is our paint booth for our random small projects and things like that. Nice. This is a two-cylinder Lamborghini Italian diesel. And we machined an output shaft. And this is a, a transmission out of a Ford Ranger, a 1995 Ford Ranger. And this is some Jeep, old Jeep rear end. New toys. This is going on his kicking grass lawnmower. Kicking grass. The monster truck lawnmower in there. <laughs> so that's what he's named it, kicking grass. Nice. So this is your baby, huh? Yep. Your project you got going on. Finally got this to run. Yesterday we had it dry, but we drove it yesterday. Nice. So you still have like a lot of welding to do because it's, yeah. it's just <laughs> tacked right now. Is this your welds here? Yeah, I weld those. And then these hubs are welded. This is all welded by my tire on. This is his gas tank, but also this thing's centered just right where it's gonna wheelie pretty easy. Hence the guard over the gas tank. Yeah, so, so if it goes back, yeah, you don't hurt back. the gas tank, yeah. And so this, he's got two parts of his frame up under here that we're meeting. And then this guy will get welded to these Pieces. He was asking how to brace it because he's also going to build a hitch that'll come off the bottom of it. Even if it were just plate, it doesn't have to be uh, tubing, but that should be enough also for, for your hitch to be welded to that too. Got the outer frame and then just the face plate. Oh my gosh, wow. So this is what you were working on in class today? Yeah, this is my final project. That's so cool. And I think the hardest part is just that the template I got for it was made for a cardboard helmet. And so I've had to learn how to just like fold metal yeah. as if it were cardboard. So that's been an adventure. So what kind of sign are you making? Um, it's gonna go on these two little things and then this will be on top. Just to hold some paper with some magnets. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's got dual purpose here. <laughs> yeah. So you just tacked those in and you're cleaning them up now? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, those are some old sign, but I redid a little bit. Kind of ugly, but this is all my gold. At least they fit nice now. Okay. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, this is cool. Yeah, you So what is this piece going to be? 
This is gonna be my gas tank. Gas tank, okay. And what are you doing right now? I'm just making it tiny bit shorter. So he's turning down a bushing that will go in the plate that he cut out, and then it'll be a spacer so it'll it'll center his rim and tire on his between his front forks. So this is your drag bike? Yep. It took me months just to get tubing cut out, cutting wrappers. Just barely tacked my foot pegs on there. So I took parts from my other bike and put them on here. The spring that's normally connected to here isn't pulling anything. It just is tension. I got you. So yeah. that's full throttle, about 5,000 RPM. Wow. Compared to my old Heisen, wouldn't go past 3,000. So you definitely like to go fast. Yep. Small parts sometimes take forever, like this clutch. I had to make a, a copper coupling out of it, out of piping, and it works. You can see it'll align with the chain. It's not too far in. Uh -huh. Too far in. I can expect this thing to be winning me some some rewards in the X. Yeah. There's gonna be a couple of fast headers. Will be like <clears throat> kicking dirt right behind me. Do you guys all go at once, or is it just like a couple uh, at a time? And there are like two people. And they they open up the gates and then someone like puts their arms down and they blast off. Okay. I first made the bike. Um, I bent it all myself. I notched it and everything. You did that um, here, right? Yeah. I tacked it all together. Honestly, it was kind of hard just from like making everything so even. I've made all the bushings myself, like all of these. And in here, like I've measured it super perfect. Um, part searching, I did all myself. How much longer do you think you have on it until it's finished? I would say probably a couple weeks. I still need to take the governor out of the engine and I need to lift up this back plate right here a little bit because the chain will not hit. What color are you gonna go with? Hot pink. Hot pink, yeah. love it. <laughs> Sweet. Thank you for sharing. Does it have to be like right there? No. I need it. to do a first when test drive, right? The gas tank. That's filled about there. <laughs> well, sorry. It's it part happens. Of, it's part of fabbing. All part of fabricating. Yep, back into the shop it goes. Mm -hmm. These kids here totally have it made. Like, why couldn't I have had this when I went to high school? That would have been so awesome. I mean, to walk out the welding room and see mountaintops is just stunning. Not to mention, learn how to fabricate, have an amazing teacher. Um, if you guys haven't picked up on it yet, not only is that a bus loading and unloading area, that's also where they drag race whatever they make in the shop. So that's probably what he's getting ready to do as soon as that car leaves so he doesn't get in trouble. So this is just so awesome. The competition makes everything funner. And kids will, if I say, oh wow, that's a great weld, they'll write their name, the year they did it, and then it stays there until someone does one better. A way of showing off, it, the kids really get into it the first half of the year. 
it's a lot of fun. A lot of trash talk happens. Oh, I'm sure. But yeah. High schoolers. <laughs> yep, for sure. So I got to do some TIG welding for the first time. Mm -hmm. And this was my teacher, yeah. Mr. Money here. And uh, here, you guys can take a look. Yeah, a little better than Helen Keller would have done, but uh, I don't know. Give me some credit. <laughs> it is for the first try, as everybody probably knows, TIG welding's not easy. And this actually is it's pretty good. Not too find... shabby for the first try ever. Well, thank you. You gotta find like your rhythm and stuff. Here, oh yeah. Because it is different than Meg and... A lot different. And this is stainless steel too, so it's a little different than just welding on mild steel and things like that, so. So what's my grade? Uh, I don't know. A good C. Yeah. C's get degrees. So that's my kid's motto. Hey, C's, C's not degrees. failing, so I'm okay. Yeah. <laughs> he found this motor was on what? Pressure washer, hence the world's fastest pressure washer. He's a freshman, ninth grade, and I haven't hardly had to help him at all. His dad's a weird mad scientist, I guess. But he's a sharp kid. But for a beginner student to be able to fab at this level, is, it's pretty impressive. That's and gonna be so much fun when it's done. That's awesome. Oh, way to go. We have to... Oh my, no way. <laughs> so whose idea was that? That was his. We go, we have a drift track contest a, where we race five at a time. They crash and run into each other. It's always a Five blast. at a time? Five at oh a time. Oh my gosh, okay. Yeah. And then we have a dirt drag contest where we have a stock, pro stock, and open class. Last year we had a kid with a 12 horse shot of nitrous on his little Harbor Fake motor and it grenaded and shot like a four foot flame out the side of it. So it's not like a rinky-dink drag racing. And then we have a sled pulling contest where we actually built a weight transfer sled, just a miniaturized version of the, the big ones. Then there's an art, like a fab contest where if you can enter in all things from the, like our suspension table nightstands, even all the way down to the little small sculpture thing. So it really, it's five bucks for kids to enter into this contest. So it's a way to highlight those that are usually never in the spotlight at high school. So this gives a lot of the other kids a chance to kind of show off and have fun and have everybody cheering them on and everything like that. That is so cool. Yeah. I love that. It's May 19th is race day. It's during the day this year at the Spanish Park Fairgrounds. <laughs> it's free for everybody to come and watch. Uh, we're gonna have probably, usually we have like 3,000 or so people come in through and watch. But this year we're busting in the junior high kids and middle school kids and it's gonna be like a, a fair day, like a, a trades fair to really promote CTE and things like that. And work and jobs in the trades is what it's all about. I am just like so surprised with how much these kids wanna learn and how involved they are. Genuinely excited to be building their cars mm -hmm. to be in this, yeah. this race. School's over with, mm -hmm. and they're still here. They're yeah. still in the shop. The biggest credit is we're a project-oriented program where uh, we build cool things, and it it really makes the biggest difference. It seems like whatever I'm into, they're into. So if, if I can help show my interests, which are things like you guys do, it helps build their interests because they see all the potential with the things that I do. That's why I build my projects, to force myself into learning new things, but also, to inspire them into doing those sort of things. When I picked up this program, we started with maybe a class average of 12 and only five periods, and now we're teaching seven of eight, and there's a waiting list. There's 240 kids a year or so. Wow, um, that's so awesome. Yeah, it pays off to have fun. Yeah. yeah. These students are pretty awesome. Yeah, right on. I'm glad you made it out. <laughs> it's time to pack up shop and uh, honestly, I'm kind of sad to be leaving. It was so much fun to watch these students today and just see just how much they love doing this and like the goal that they're trying to reach. And I would have given anything to have had this opportunity while I was in high school, because I certainly didn't. That really wraps up the day. I'm going to head back to get some work done with Chris. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. You can like and subscribe below if you haven't already. Don't forget you can find all of your Lightbrite merch and decals at lightbrightstudios.com. And her 
jump was really, really good. I just like looked over yeah. like. <laughs> You've been in the shop a lot. Yeah, yeah, I'm definitely used to the loud noises.